the thought of the universe itself leaves you in awe. Possibilities out there run endless like the galaxies that compose it. Questions plague our minds like whether there is an existence of other living entities within this world. And as time goes by, we realize that slowly we are getting the answers we used to crave. Hey there, welcome back to History in Minutes. Today, we'll be skyrocketing into the galaxy to witness what wonders the James Webb Telescope has seen. For decades, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or collectively known as NASA, has made what we thought was impossible into possible in terms of space exploration. The desire of going beyond our own solar system had ignited the fire and inspiration for research and development that yielded numerous attempts towards the galaxy, one of which is the famed James Webb Telescope. Made to answer humanity's hungry mind, the James Webb Telescope was meant to help scientists fathom the mysteries beyond Earth and its solar system. But the things JWST has seen leaves the scientists in surprise and often more curious. In spite of its numerous delays, the James Webb Telescope proved to be a real game changer in space exploration. In recent times, the JWST discovered something massive, so big it earned the name the Warp Bubble. But what is a Warp Bubble? What exactly did the JWST find? Does it pose an unknown risk? Should we be scared about it? The insurmountable enigma of possible galaxies, aside from ours, and the existence of the world-engulfing black holes is a wonder to think about. Planets itself, and even our very own moon, interested enough professionals to go check them out. Yet, as fascinating as it may be, observing or even visiting our neighboring planets like the infamous red planet, Mars, needs a hefty amount of resources. A reason why, before the JWST in 1990, the Hubble telescope was launched that propelled the space discovery into a whole nother level. Now this leads us today with the James Webb Telescope capturing an even more bizarre set of photos that astound us in different degrees. Which brings us back to the questions. What exactly did the JWST find and why was it called the warp bubble? This is where telescopes located in space come in. They serve as our eyes in the universe allowing us to observe and study distant objects that we cannot physically reach. These instruments provide us with insights into the secrets of the cosmos by enabling us to peer deeply into the universe from afar. Despite the remarkable capabilities of the Hubble telescope, NASA continues to pursue new innovations, launching satellites and exploring ways to harness the universe's enigmatic powers, including the warp drive. The JWST represents a significant advancement in our ability to study the origins of the stars by providing unparalleled capabilities that allow scientists to observe even further back in time than ever before. With its exceptional vision, the JWST is 100 times more powerful than the Hubble telescope, enabling us to delve even deeper into the universe's history and to observe stars that were present within 330 million years of the Big Bang. The key to the JWST's ability to observe billions of years into the past lies in the journey of light. The light that reaches us from distant stars has traveled for billions of years, and by the time it reaches us, it serves as a cosmic time capsule, revealing to us the secrets of the stars from eons ago. NASA has announced an exciting collection of initial images that will demonstrate the remarkable capabilities of the JWST. These stunning images include the Carina Nebula, a magnificent cloud of gas and dust with brilliant stars that are much larger than our sun. The Carina Nebula is located about 7,600 light years away from Earth. Additionally, the JWST has captured images of Stefan Quintet, a spectacular galaxy cluster located millions of light years away where the gravitational forces of celestial companions have twisted the shapes of four out of the five galaxies, creating a mesmerizing cosmic dance. Moreover, the JWST has also taken breathtaking pictures of the SMACS 0723A galaxy cluster, which can distort and magnify light from distant objects behind it. This unique ability allows telescopes to detect even the faintest in most remote galaxies. So what is a warp bubble? Imagine being able to travel through space in a bubble that can bend time and space to your will, propelling you forward at speeds greater than that of light without breaking any laws of physics. 
This is the idea behind a warp bubble, which creates a pocket of contracted space in the front and expanded space in the back to allow for faster than light travel. One of the main advantages of warp bubbles is that they can help solve the problem of time dilation that occurs when traveling faster than light. If one were to travel faster than light, everything outside the craft would age at an accelerated rate, while the traveler might spend years on a distant planet while only hours pass for them. This could mean saying goodbye to loved ones before embarking on the journey. However, inside a warp bubble, time ticks normally, so an hour spent traveling at warp speed would be just an hour for everyone outside the bubble. The concept of warp travel is a familiar one to fans of the Star Trek franchise, which has featured warp drive technology in numerous episodes and movies since its first episode in 1966. The idea of traveling through the universe in powerful spaceships and exploring distant planets with extraterrestrial crews is at the heart of the franchise's appeal, with warp drive making it all possible. Let's examine the enigmatic star Proxima Centauri, which twinkles 4.5 light years away in the vast expanse of space. Even if you were to travel at a speed of light, it would still take you an astonishing 4.5 years to reach this distant star. Unfortunately, the ultimate speed limit is set by the speed of light, making it impractical to travel to Proxima Centauri with our current technology. Even the fastest spacecraft built would take over 8,000 years to make the journey. Consequently, it's more practical to stay close to Earth and its surroundings. Nevertheless, in the Star Trek universe, the Interpret crew found a way to defy the laws of physics and travel long distances in a fraction of the time with the legendary Torsen engine powered by the awe-inspiring warp drive technology. By bending and twisting space-time, the warp drive can shorten the travel time to distant stars creating an exhilarating and mind-bending concept of travel. The visionary physicist Miguel Acubierre proposed the concept of warp bubbles in 1994, which revolutionized our understanding of interstellar travel. The idea is to compress space and time in front of your spacecraft and stretch it out behind you, creating a bubble of warped reality that can carry you to your destination at breakneck speeds. The implications of this concept are staggering, as it could potentially allow a journey to our nearest neighboring star system, Alpha Centauri, to be completed in just a month, as measured by clocks on board the spacecraft and back on Earth. Alcubier was inspired to develop this concept while watching an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, which depicted heavy masses curving space and time. He scribbled down calculations on a scrap of paper, which laid the foundation for a groundbreaking article that shook the scientific community. Alcubierre's visionary paper outlined the concept of compressing space and time to create a torsion bubble, which could potentially pave the way for unprecedented possibilities in space travel. However, there is a catch to Alcubierre's warp bubble. The reality of creating a warp engine is far from easy, as you cannot aggressively bend space with normal mass. You need a material called exotic matter with negative gravity, which we have not yet discovered making the feasibility of the warp drive questionable. Alcubierre's concept involves enveloping a spaceship in a bubble of flat space-time and distorting space-time around it to achieve faster-than-light travel. However, this would require either negative mass or negative energy density, which are only theoretical and have never been observed in the universe. Negative energy is the only current option but it has its own difficulties. The creation of negative energy requires a significant amount of mass to create an imbalance between particles and antiparticles. When particles and antiparticles appear near the warp drive, the mass traps one of them, creating negative energy density. However, Alcubierre estimated that a warp drive with a 100-meter bubble would require the mass of the entire visible universe, which seems insurmountable. Despite these obstacles, Harold White and his team, funded by DARPA, made an accidental discovery that offers some hope to the supporters of the warp drive. White and his colleagues were experimenting with the energy distribution in a Casimir cavity when they unexpectedly discovered a micro-nanoscale system that could potentially generate the negative energy density required for a real warp bubble. In other words, they inadvertently found a nanoscale structure that could produce a genuine warp bubble, much like what Alcubier proposed. By carefully analyzing their custom Casimir cavities, they identified a microstructure that could produce the necessary negative vacuum energy density and be manufactured. The new discovery has caused the theoretical design to be unofficially renamed as the Alcubierre White Warp Drive, sparking renewed optimism among researchers and sci-fi fans. Harold White is hopeful that a small warp craft can be designed and tested in the near future, but warns that creating a functional warp drive is still a long way off, 
as there is much more research to be done. Nevertheless, the prospect of traveling across the galaxy in a warp bubble has generated excitement and curiosity. What is your opinion on warp bubbles? Share your thoughts in the comments and participate in the conversation about the future of space travel. Well, this ends today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content worth your every minute.